These clowns are going to teach us today about how to stay safe. Are you ready for this? So they do a general ed classroom at, um, for K through first and, and second grade. So what they came into um, special needs just to kind of help out and um, teach them about fire safety and they've never done that before. Well guys, can you guys learn, it, learn some new science with me today? Kids don't learn in a small group, in a large group like that. They learn in a small group. So being able to come in and sit in that small group and get that one-on-one -on -one instruction with an actual fireman. They let the clowns come in so, and touch their noses and their feet so that way they weren't afraid of them when they go out to the general ed to watch the big show. First we stop, then we walk. We just use uh, information that we get from the hospitals. Uh, on injuries to the children in our city, uh, so it's uh, community specific. We look at what the injuries are for our children, uh, what the fire life safety issues are for the country, and then we base our show off of those specific injuries or those specific things. You don't ever just cross the street willy-nilly like that. You don't. Oh, no, you have to go to the intersection, you know, where the two streets cross, Woo. and then there'll always be a walkway. And then you go up to the intersection, you look left, you look right, Look left again, right, and you go across. So this is a passion for us, and, and we pick up children uh, on calls or at different points in our careers that, that we want to be proactive instead of reactive. And so this is a good way for us to de-stress, uh, be creative, and uh, try to make sure that we don't have those calls with the children. They didn't have to come into a special needs classroom. They could have done general ed and be done with it, but just to help them raise awareness that there are other children with special needs on the campus that need extra support and for them to just understand and know that is meaningful. And what did you do when the fire drill went off? Went outside. Good job. You go outside. Every kid deserves to be safe. Every kid deserves to have that opportunity uh, to be taught. So however we can reach that is what we want to do. If we have a language barrier, we want them to be able to see our show and be able to get across to them what we're doing with just actions. It's kind of like watching TV with the sound off. If you can see what we're doing and what we're trying to accomplish for that safety that way, then it works. Uh, with special education, the same thing. We want to make sure that, uh, that they're safe and that they understand, however they learn, however we can teach them. And any way we can teach children how to be safe, that's our goal. Perfect.